Hello, and welcome to Chair Yoga 2. This class incorporates both seated and standing yoga poses. All you will need for this class is a chair with or without arms. We'll begin with some nice deep breaths to help slow down the mind and the body. So I invite you to place your hands on your thighs, begin to relax the body, and if you choose, you may close your eyes at this time or lower your gaze down to the floor. And let's take a few moments just to focus on your breathing. Noticing your inhales and your exhales. And trying to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Notice any areas of tension in your body. And with every exhale you take, try to release the tension. And if your eyes are closed, I invite you to open your eyes. And sitting up nice and tall, let's bring the hands to heart center. And welcome to today's yoga practice. Let's bring the arms down to the side. And we'll begin with a side stretch for the neck. So take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, bring your right ear over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center, left ear down to left shoulder. Inhale and exhale over to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale to the left. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale center, exhale to the left. Coming back to center, starting with the arm circles, palms up to the ceiling. Take a nice inhale as you raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, palms away and lower down. And again, deep breath in, palms reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale, palms down. And one more. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms down. Now this time reaching down towards the right, some lateral flexion. Coming back to the center, reaching down towards the left as you exhale. And back to center. And over to the right. Inhale up. And over to your left. And inhale up. 
Now this time, let's come down to the right, reaching your right hand towards the floor. Take your left arm up and over, reaching over the head, keeping the arm in line with your ear. A couple of breaths here. And while we're here, as long as it's okay on your neck, let's gaze your eyes up towards the ceiling. And now lower your gaze down to the floor. Good, relaxing the arms down. Other side, coming down to your left, reaching down with your left fingertips and take that right arm up and over the head. Again, keeping that arm in line with your ear. A couple of breaths here. And let's begin to look up to the ceiling. And lower your gaze down to the floor. And let's relax, bring the arms down to the side and roll the shoulders back a couple of times. Bringing the feet together, going into a seated twist. If you have arms on your chair, you can use the arms for this next exercise. If not, we can keep your hands just on the outside of your leg. So let's begin to the right. Take both hands over to the arm of your chair or again on the outside of your right leg. And sitting up nice and tall, looking over your right shoulder. A couple of breaths here. And let's release. Coming over to the left side, holding on to the arms of the chair or the outside of your left leg, sitting up nice and tall. And as you exhale, looking over your left shoulder. As you inhale, sitting up tall. As you exhale, try to twist a little deeper. And back to center. For the next exercise, we will interlace your hands behind your back. So make sure you have enough room. You may need to scoot forward in your seat a little bit. Okay. Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. And let's take the legs out a little wider than hip width apart. Sitting up nice and tall with the hands interlaced behind you. Straighten your arms. And then try to lift the arms away from the body. As you lift up your arms, keep the chest forward. Just squeezing the shoulder blades. We're opening up the front side of the body, opening up the heart. Take a couple of breaths here. A really nice shoulder and chest stretch. Now keeping your hands interlaced, let's start to bend forward from the hips, coming down as the arms raise up. Try to relax your head. Keep reaching your hands up towards the ceiling. And bring me slowly coming up. Release the hands, roll the shoulders back. Very nice. 
Moving on to our eagle arm stretch. So taking both arms out to the side, palms facing down. We're going to bring your right arm over your left arm and across the hands. And we're going to keep crossing and then try to turn your hands so your palms are facing together. So I'll show you that one more time for eagle arms. Arms start out to the side, right arm crosses over the left arm. Keep crossing as far as you can, trying to get the elbows lined up. Turn the palms in towards each other so your palms are touching or your fingers are touching. And once you're there, we're gonna raise the arms up shoulder level. And we'll hold this for a few breaths. And release the arms out to the side and relax them down. Roll the shoulders again. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, left arm on top of the right arm. So make sure you're still sitting up nice and tall, arms out to the side, left arm now crosses over the right arm until the elbows are on top of each other. Begin to turn the hands towards each other, palms facing one another. When we're there, we're going to lift the elbows up towards the ceiling. And let's hold it for a few more breaths on this side. Eagle arms. You should feel a very nice opening by your shoulder blades. And release, arms come out to the side and relax the arms down. Roll the shoulders back. Bring the feet together now. Right. And this time, let's take the arms all the way up. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, we're going to fold forward, reaching the hands towards your feet. Inhale, come halfway up with a flat back. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, rise up. Hands come together down to heart center. And again, inhale, coming up. Exhale, folding forward from the hips. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, rise up, and exhale, hands to heart. One more, inhale up, exhale forward, inhale halfway up, exhale all the way down, inhale, come up, Hands together, heart center. Relax the arms down to the side and just relax the body. Taking the legs out wide, as wide as you can. We're going to do one more forward fold from here. So slightly turn the toes out and we're gonna hang in the center. So just relax the body, Relax the arms, let them go loose. Relax your head and your neck. And just enjoy this stretch for the lower back. And if you want, you can even sway side to side. Slowly coming up. and walk your feet in. So we're going to go into our standing portion for this class. 
So we are going to use the support of the chair just in case if you need it for your balance and stability. So let's begin standing up and going to the right side of your chair. Now, as we do these poses, you may want to hold on to the arm of the chair um, or even the back of the chair. So make sure it's a, a stable chair that won't move as we go through these poses. Okay. So starting with your feet together, we're going to take your left leg and take a big step back, as big as you can. So right foot is forward, left foot is back, standing up nice and tall. Okay. Let's lift up your back heel and bend your legs slightly, just a little bit. Now with the hips, if you put your hands on the hips, we're going to tilt the bottom of your pelvis forward. Okay. You should feel a little stretch in the front part of your left hip. Now from here, keeping your pelvis tucked underneath, see if you can bring that back heel down. It may or may not touch the floor. So we're in a lunge position now. So again, you may need that chair to hold on just in case, okay, with or without the chair. So slightly keep those legs bent. And we're going to hold this here for just a little bit. If you need the chair, feel free to hold on the entire time. If you'd like, you can take one hand and start to reach up towards the ceiling. And if your balance is okay, maybe even reaching up with both hands, arms in line with the ear. So choose the level for you, whether it's both arms, one arm, or maybe you're just in a lunge position. And just concentrate on your breathing. Let's try one more breath. Excellent. Good. Now, we're going to straighten the legs. Make sure both feet are flat. Take that back leg, your back foot, and turn it to the side. So your right foot should be facing towards the front. And your back leg should be facing towards your left. Okay. We're trying to line up your front heel with the arch of your back foot. So we're standing up nice and tall. The chair is there if you need it. So from here, we're going to bend your front leg. So bending your right knee. Use that chair for support. Now take your front hand and reach towards the front of the room. This is our modified warrior two. Reaching out with that front hand. If you feel steady enough, we'll take the back hand. You're going to reach towards the back of the room. Arms in line with each other. So if you want to look, Make sure your arms are about the same height. And that front leg is slightly bent. And just focus on the breathing. Again, you may be here with both hands. If you need one hand on the chair, hold on to the side of the chair. Now from here, keep your legs exactly the same. Take that front hand, your right hand, and start to reach up towards the ceiling. And then reach it back to the back of the room. You should feel a nice long stretch on the right side of the body. Couple of breaths here. Now take that front leg, take your right leg and start to straighten out your right leg. Still reaching that right arm over the head. And let's come, re-bend that front leg back to your warrior two. So right leg is bent. 
Right arm reaching out. Maybe your left hand holding on to the chair. Maybe it's reaching to the back of the room. Now we're going to take your front hand, place it onto the chair. We're going to reverse it. Take your back hand, reach for the back of the room. Keep that right leg bent. And now take your left arm and reach it over your head towards the front of the room. This time you should feel a stretch on the left side of your body. Couple of breaths here. And back to warrior two. Turn your back leg to the front. Use the chair if you need to. Walk that back leg up. And let's shake out the legs. Okay, that is one side. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So let's walk around to the left side of your chair. So as before, we start with your feet together. And now take your right leg, take a big step back as big as you can. Now lift up your back heel, bend both legs slightly. And again, hands on the hips. We're gonna tilt the bottom of your pelvis forward. So we're trying to get that stretch in the front of the hip. Now keep it tilted forward and try to push down your back heel. Again, it may or may not be able to reach the floor. You should feel a nice stretch in the front part of that hip. Keep that front leg slightly bent. And if you need that chair, hold on to the arm or the back of the chair. You can stay right here or you can take that left arm and reach that arm up to the ceiling. If your balance is maybe better on this side, you can also take that other arm and reach both arms up to the ceiling. So choose your level. This is level three or maybe level two or maybe you're at level one for today. Hold this here for just about one more breath. Good. And now straighten both legs. Make sure both feet are flat on the floor before you turn your back leg. So your right leg now is pointing towards the right and your left leg is pointing towards the front. If you look down at your feet, your front heel should be lined up with the arch of your back foot. Setting up for warrior two. Let's bend the front leg. And from here, take that front arm, reach it out towards the front of the room. Back hand is holding on to the chair for support. If you'd like, you can take that other arm, reach it to the back of the room. So your arms are one straight line. That's up to you how much you want to use the chair. So keep that front leg bent and continue to breathe as we hold this position just a little while longer. Now from here, take that front hand, start to raise it up towards the ceiling and over the head, reaching for the back of the room, keeping that front leg bent you should feel a nice stretch in the left side of your body and continue to breathe through the stretch. Now keep your arm in the same position. Begin to straighten out your left leg so both legs are straight, still reaching that arm overhead.
And then start to re-bend your left leg. Bring the arm down towards the front. Take that left hand on the chair. If you're using the chair, right arm goes behind you. And let's reverse it the other way. So now the right arm comes up and over, reaching to the front of the room. You should feel a nice stretch on the right side of the body. And back to warrior two. And come on up. Straighten out both legs, turn the back foot to the front, and step back up, shaking that out. Now before we sit back down, let's go to the back of the chair. One more stretch, our modified downward dog. So holding on to the back of the chair, we're going to walk your feet back until your arms are straight. So feet are flat, arms are straight. And now let's bend forward, dropping your head through your arms and shifting your weight back. So lower down, chin to chest. You should feel a stretch all along the back side of both legs. And if you go down deep enough, you should feel a nice deep shoulder stretch. Let's hold this for two more breaths. Very slowly start to come up. Walk your feet in until you're standing up nice and tall. Very nice, very nice job. Let's come around to the front. We'll finish with some of our seated stretches. So sitting up nice and tall, we'll start with uh, our crossing of the legs. Any hip precautions, we'll keep your legs down low, crossing the ankles. Otherwise, you're going to sit ladylike. So right leg over the left leg, one knee on top of the other. Take your right hand on the outside of that leg and let's start to twist like we did in the beginning, looking over your right shoulder. Coming back to center, let's uncross and left leg now on top, sitting up nice and tall. Take your right hand on the outside of that leg. Begin to twist, looking over your left shoulder. Good. Coming back through center on crossing the legs. Into our figure four stretch. So again, you can keep it down low by the ankles if you'd like. Otherwise, let's take that right ankle over the left knee. We're trying to get this leg as parallel as we can to the floor, sitting up nice and tall. You may feel enough of the stretch on the outside of your hip. If not, I invite you to slightly lean forward. Think about that belly button going down the hole. We're going to hold this here for a couple of breaths. And come back up. Let's switch the legs. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, this may be enough of a stretch for you. Otherwise, we'll start to lean forward. And we'll come back up. Take your legs as wide as you can into our forward fold. Toes slightly pointing out. Let's reach down the middle again. Relaxing your head. Good. 
Now while we're here, just take the hands over to the right leg. And now stay nice and low. Let's walk it over to your left side. Back to the center. Nice and easy, come up. Keep your feet out wide. Take the arms out to the side and wrist circles in one direction. And then the opposite direction. Bring the hands together, heart center. Now the fingertips are pointing up right now, elbows out to the side. Turn the hands so your fingertips point away from you. And then see if you can keep the hands together as you turn the palms down. This is a really nice uh, stretch for your wrists. So as far as you can turn your fingertips down towards the floor. Good. Bring it back up through the center. Shake out the hands. Bring your feet together. Arms come down to the side. And let's finish with a couple of deep breaths to finish out our practice today. So arms coming up as we inhale. Exhale, lower down. And deep breath in, really reaching up towards the sky. And exhale, down. And one more, deep breath in. Hands come together at the very top and exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's class and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.